Hello there folks, welcome back to another video. Football Manager 2021 came out on beta a while ago and is coming out officially very, very soon. So, get yourself some ideas for new saves. Some old ideas, some new ideas, and maybe one of my own, and we'll throw them together and talk through them in this save. I've got five for you, and uh, before we go any further, if you've got saves that aren't mentioned in this, challenges that you think other people could do, get them in the comment section, because the plan is I'm going to do another video just like this and call it five more saves that you could do on FM 20 or 20, uh, 2021. So, uh, yeah, in the comment section, get involved. So, if you're a long-term player of Football Manager, you've probably heard of a few of these, but I've detailed a few of the things you can aim for, maybe coming together with some of the challenges that you could do, and uh, let's talk through them now then five to go let's start with number one so the first one we've got and it's a bit of a classic really build a nation uh, something that a few youtubers have done and streamers have certainly done as well and uh, you can see i've outlined a few things that i think you could do with it as well as doing a hard mode as well something you could do towards the end uh so win the world cup with a nation of your choice that's the idea you pick a nation that's generally one of the smaller nations so you avoid the big guns like you think about the top leagues of england germany spain etc you don't need to build those nations up they're already very much established in world football both internationally and domestically uh, you can see I've, I've, for loaded leagues there i put a few suggestions of, of nations that I think would be perfect for this challenge. Norway would be a really fun one. You think about the players coming through there, the likes of Haaland and Odegaard, right? Players that are coming into their prime, building them up, along with the, the, the sort of domestic side of Norway, could be a really fun challenge. Scotland as well, recently qualified for their first tournament in ages. Canada, Greece, Uruguay, great options as well. Uruguay could be a really good one to do in South America. Try and topple Argentina and Brazil as sort of the main nations in there. You probably have to get past or battle with Colombia first for a bit, but then you can, uh, all guns blazing towards Brazil and Argentina. So achieve maximum European spots in that nation. Take a team in, in one of these places. It doesn't matter. In my opinion, it doesn't really matter at what level you start. You could take the best team. So in Scotland, for example, you could probably do it with Celtic and do it a little bit quicker. Of course, making it harder, making it homegrown. As you can see, I was going to come to hard mode later, but I've skipped ahead a bit. You could do that. Um, become the best club in the world. The club that you choose, uh, even if you like, some people do build a club challenges actually, or build a nation challenges, sorry, and they they bounce around clubs, which is absolutely something you could do with a challenge like this. Um, develop all the youth players, of course, that's such a key part to these challenges, especially if you're doing it homegrown only. Getting players through the door, getting the facilities to be the maximum they can be, that's so, so important. And then after winning the World Cup, winning the Champions League, do that as well. Try, try and achieve everything. Make this nation one of the go-to nations, the premier nation, and getting it above some of the big guns I mentioned earlier. That would be the big challenge within this. So first one up then, build a nation, give it a go. You may have tried it before. It's something I'm thinking of doing on Twitch this year. So um, yeah, it's a really fun challenge. Okay, the next one we have, and again, bit of a classic really, and something that I'm doing a little bit on Twitch. So some of these do actually relate to me. Quite a few of them, I realise now as I'm going through them, relate to me. Fallen Giant, I'm kind of doing it with Leeds United at the moment. They're, they're rising themselves without me. Um, but matching the past glories of those sides is a challenge. Like, you think about some of the teams in England. Blackburn won a Premier League and haven't even been close to winning one since. It feels like Nottingham Forest won European Cups. And that's that's another side you could go for. There are clubs littered all around uh, that you could go for. Especially in Europe, there's some big names. Hamburg is one that, of course, won a Champions League. It's in distant memory but st st recent distant memory if that's the thing I don't, th I don't think that that sounds contradictory Ben but taking over one of these fallen giants matching their former glory and then building it to be bigger and better getting a new stadium becoming an icon of that site I guess with, for with fallen giant you're really trying to get a club back to former glory and then taking it that step further right bringing it into this generation of football taking it to a level that it's not necessarily been before even and going above and beyond where it once was obviously for some sides that's difficult Manchester United would be a good one joking joking shouldn't have made the joke shouldn't have done the joke United fans don't find that funny. I've realised that. I think with a lot of these fallen giants, though, there's a, there's a sense that they've sort of fallen off. You sense they've fallen off. God, look at you, Spider-Man. So that's why another one of these is maximise out your facilities. Make them as good as they can possibly be. Give yourself the best chance at being a giant once again. Um, to, ma to make this sort of, uh, again, hard mode on this, time limit it. Make it to a degree so you have to do it before maybe 10 years or 20 years. Say you're Blackburn, right? You set your target of, I want to win the Premier League again in five years time and that will definitely speed things up as far as doing things like this like some of them you won't be like if you did a time limit building a stadium maxing out facilities that might be quite a tough part of it and of course you could do it for a long long time and then make them the dominant force not just making them a fallen giant but again making them one of the best teams in the world um yeah so great options in england there's there's teams being able to drop down the ladder in england so it's slightly easier hamburg as i mentioned another one you could do zaragotha is another side that have been in finals like again in recent memory another one you could do from spain so yeah there's options out there floated leagues again a lot of them do come around in sort of that top five era because, of course, they were the big clubs to begin with um, in, the, in those nations. So, yeah, give it a go. Fallen Giant. 
All right, then, number three. And, of course, a concept I'm sure you'll have heard of. Hopefully, you've seen the film. Brad Pitt, Jonah Hill, brilliant in this. Moneyball is... There's a lot of debate about Moneyball, especially in the football manager community, I feel like, because some people think there are many different ways of doing this. So this is just a version that I've sort of come up with for you to try out. Um, Again, we'll go through some of the bullet points. Take calculated risks, focus on stats over reputation, value in the market transfers, free transfers, very important as well, transfer list of players, go for them, create a detailed scouting network. Now, the key thing with Moneyball is to focus on the data. Find the things that other people aren't spotting and making the most of that and creating a, a title-winning, championship-winning team from nothing. It's difficult to do because with baseball, there are very much defined roles, whereas in football, things tend to be a little bit more fluid, so it's difficult to find the perfect players. Again, hard mode on this would be to spend nothing, to build a team from, from dealing with free transfers, loan transfers, and becoming the best team from that. That would be particularly difficult you're looking for again you're looking for those players that, that like an example in the, in the film of course is they're looking for a certain amount of runs to be hit they lose one player they replace him with three players and that would be a similar situation if you sold your top goal scorer for mega money potentially to invest in facilities or even to buy players right you then bring in three players to match his goal contribution and again as i say there are many different ways to do a money ball save in football manager this could be some of the things that you set yourself. And again, be fluid with it. Again, I loaded leagues on this one. I've put the top six that are considered in Europe. Dutch fans, apologies again. Um, England, Germany, Italy, Spain, France, and Portugal. Beating the system in those nations is quite the challenge. Um, starting with... It's, it's tricky because you could start with a lower league team and then build it up and really build it up. Or you could go for a team that are doing it already. Like the likes of Brentford, right? They've done it in recent years. Michi Land do it in Denmark. So maybe that could be an option. You could maybe team that up with the Build a Nation Challenge, maybe. So things like that. Um, it's a really fun challenge. Something that I've done a little bit with Ajax before. And again, that's doing it with one of the better sides and then trying to become a European elite in that sense. So you can do it at different levels. But yeah, the Moneyball Save is a fantastic challenge. And um, yeah, if you're a data nut, which you probably are playing football manager, this could be the one for you. I can't not include it, viewers. I was going to do a video on my own, on its own about this, but I thought no, I'll include it as part of a set. Glory Hunter. Now, Glory Hunter is a challenge that I've got a mug for it. I created this challenge, um, and it's a little bit like a pentagon, and spoiler for number five, we'll go on to that in a moment. But Glory Hunter is a challenge where you have to win the top five domestic league titles in Europe, the top five domestic cups, all in a time limit of 20 years, including the Champions League, Europa League, World Cup, and European Championships. You've got to win them all. So that's a challenge in itself. I won't spoil how it ended for me, um, but that series I did do in FM20 and may well be doing a version again on Twitch. I've got a few different options. I've been going through these and looking at like future saves or potential saves, and the Glory Hunter one does stand out to me as something I could maybe again do in the future. Um, it's funny, I've, I've just thought about it now. I chose the top five European leagues. There's nothing to say you couldn't try and do this in South America or in Asia. Um, for Africa, you would need a, a more detailed database, but there are different places, I guess, you could do this in. America, again, you could do it with Mexico, Canada, and the US and you could sort of create variations of Glory Hunter based on that. I've talked about doing a Scandinavian one recently, right? So you don't have to do the top five leagues, um, but it does mean you get to bounce around and keep very close knit. Again, you don't want to load too many leagues in this. Um, you don't want to make your game slower, especially when you know it's going to be 20 years. It's not as easy as you think. The big thing with Glory Hunter, starting teams, right? Where do you start with this? Do not start with a big, do not start with PSG. That is not fun. What I did, I started with Inter Milan in my journey. So a team that were sort of maybe on the edge of becoming something, but certainly not the big dogs in that division. Of course, I had to get past Juventus to become that. Um, other, other teams I considered in that year were Chelsea, because I didn't think they were a contender ahead of Liverpool and City. Sevilla were an option in that season. Someone like Porto. <laughs> Other options included the likes of Leipzig and Lyon and a few others, maybe even AC Milan from Italy as well. So, um, yeah, Glory Hunter Challenge. If you've got any other questions about this one specifically, tweet me. Um, and to make it really difficult, I mentioned the starting teams there. If you want to try and... <laughs> this is tough. Start unemployed. Some people did it. Some people did really well with it. Some people did it as sort of like a five-year... Uh, journey and then kicked into glory hunter once you got to a top division which i thought was quite one, a nice way of doing it but uh yeah there you are then glory hunter it's um it's not as easy as i wish it was <laughs> and finally the fifth one it's a classic and if you're new to football manager and that's partially why i'm making this video there are 
literally hundreds of thousands of people that are new to Football Manager this year. And that's partially why I'm making this video, the Pentagon Challenge, the, the challenge that will test your computer and see how well it can handle this. It's one single save, as are most of the other challenges, to be fair. Um, you've got to win the Champions League in each continent. Good luck. Uh, the lowest possible coaching badges, that's what you've got to select at the very start. Mask your attributes as well. You can, it's, it's really... How good at football manager? I've never done it. So it's a question of how good are you at football manager and um, no international management either because you don't want to give yourself the, the leg up of having that job alongside a club nation. It's very much a bounce around. Um, the one thing that makes this difficult is knowing which leagues to load. If you've got a computer that can run all leagues and you can continue through with that, that's great. Of course, Football Manager gives you the option to add and remove leagues as you go along and that's how I would probably approach this given the chance. But it's tough. My my option probably would be to select a few from different places. There's only one you can do from the start with South Africa, in Africa. And again, hard mode for that would be to start in Afri Africa because to start there, your reputation isn't going to grow that much. Whereas if you start in Europe and the first thing you do is win the Champions League, it's a lot easier to bounce around, right? So if, you, if you're trying to complete the challenge, that is potentially my advice is to start there. But then obviously having to drop down and then build yourself back up again five different times in five different nations can be quite difficult. Um, again, you're, you're hoping that jobs become available at the right time in a save like the Pentagon. Um, again, there's lots of different versions of this. Glory Hunter itself is kind of a version of a Pentagon challenge, um, mainly set down to sort of five nations in a country or or in one continent. Um, but the Pentagon is the classic and I had to, had to include it in this. Um, so yeah, there's five challenges. Let me me know how you get on if you give one of them a go or if you think any of these are to your liking and again comment section this is where you come in come up with a challenge yourself or if you've got one that you've seen before that you think should be included and i can do five more so we can do six to ten of these uh, i'd love to be able to do another video on this and read through the challenge suggestions that you may well have uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have and you'd like to see more stuff like this make sure you leave a like on it and make sure you subscribe we've got lots coming up soon a creator club series which is something i didn't mention in this series at all um and then i'm doing of course leads at, at the moment as well so a fallen giant type save currently as well as doing all sorts of things over on twitch as well so um yeah if you're looking forward to that and you're interested links in the description of course make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and i'll see you again very very soon we'll always care if you're not spending until next time goodbye oh, don't do the pentagon very very difficult and when i say difficult i just mean i'm not brave enough